We always contemplate entering into the high holiday season with concerns, with worries, and with trepidations. And this year in particular, we have an extra measure because we're worried about Israel, we're worried about Iran. We remember very deeply the events of Paris and Copenhagen this past year and anti-Semitism in Europe. And we have heavy hearts. And we think about all of the challenges that we face as a people. And also personally and individually, there are issues that we bring into the synagogue on the high holiday season. There is a very precious text in the Torah reading for Rosh Hashanah that I want to draw upon as something to think about, to ground us uh, during this very important time. Hagar, the Torah tells us, is expelled from the household of Abraham with her son Yishmael. Sarah is nervous, she's unhappy, she tells Abraham to do so. Abraham doesn't want to, God says you have to do what Sarah says. And Hagar goes out into the wilderness and after a while she's bereft, she's nervous. What's gonna happen to Yishmael? He begins to wither away. And then the Torah tells us that God opened up her eyes and lo and behold, right there, there was a well. She went over to the well, she drew upon the water, and she was able to sustain her son. A great Hasidic Rebbe, the author of the Chidushi Arim from the family of Ger, says the following. Re'ei ulameid mikan. Ko ma she nitzrach lo la'adam omeid muchan lefanov. Tzorech rag she yizke ha'adam v'hashem yifkach es enov v'yira esasher omeid lefanov. Everything that we need is in front of us. All we need to do is to be blessed with the capacity and the ability to open up our eyes and to see that it's there. The well was there in the desert all the time, but Hagar didn't see it. God opened up her eyes. If we open up our eyes and in the context of all of the difficulties, appreciate the blessings, appreciate our community, appreciate our family, appreciate our backgrounds. That will give us the strength to thank God for all of those blessings and to look forward to, please God, building on them with all of the complications and challenges to be blessed with a happy and a wonderful new year.